Since we talked about symbols last time, how about some costume talk? A magical girl doesn't get to choose her costume, of course, but still, the two tend to suit each other. Like symbols, matching costumes are another easy sign of the magic team. While the general design will stay the same, elements of the costume might evolve slowly over time, or suddenly with big life changes. Changes like this always get discussed extensively in the tabloids. Miss Wells also experienced a change in her eye color, but that whole situation is rather unusual. What, you want to know why I have a bunch of weird dolls of all the girls? I have a lot of time on my hands. Is this what you wanted to show me? Yeah, it's in a book in mechanics using manufacturing. Are you reading this for fun? Oh, shush. I was looking for some inspirational ways to use my new air powers, but I found this and thought you might be interested. What am I looking at? It's called a water jet. Basically, it uses a super powerful thin stream of water to cut things. Are you saying you think I could do that? I don't know, but it seems worth trying out. It's just a matter of whether you could generate enough force. Huh, it looks like these are typically 30 to 90,000 PSI. I have no idea how much that is, but it sounds like a lot. Nope. Still trying to do that water laser thing? A water jet, and yes. You seem kind of hung up on that. I mean, it would just be nice. Then I could destroy monsters myself, you know? I kind of suck at that right now. That'd be cool, but it's also cool if you can't. Gwen and I can always handle that part. Plus, Tessa's new powers seem, like, OP. Ugh, I guess. Undyne. No pressure. Was that a pun? <sighs> Thanks, guys. I just want to make sure I'm being useful. You're good. You're doing fine as is. You worry too much. <sighs> Maybe. Plus, you're like the nice one. It makes sense that your powers would be more gentle. I think it's cool. What if I don't want to be the nice one? Too late. Ship's kind of sailed on that one, undies. Chapter 9. Aeration. Oof. Whoa, did you just water blast this guy to death? I couldn't really see. Oh no, is something wrong? It's not. I was just so worried that that you were... Come girl, girl, that girl I told you about, he's here. I think that was one of her monsters. What? That gooby shadow girl thing? We have to get the family and get out of here before something worse happens. Okay, right. Just stay calm and we'll handle this together. Uh, right, okay. What? Uh, was it not dead? It definitely was. And I don't- Yo, you know needs help? Outrageous is always available to take out the trash. Oh, yo, HP! Didn't notice that was you! Ah, hey. Oh, this is great. Now we can get rid of these guys together. <laughs> hey, are you okay? I think I might have overdone it a bit earlier. In that case... You handle the last round. Leave this one to us. Outrageous, huh? They're fairly popular, but I've never actually seen them work. Lemon lights? Laceration! Awesome apple? Ollie. Uh, they're that kind of cool. Line. All right. <sighs> that one did have alliteration. Those three sure are showy, huh? Even you think so? But hey, I don't have attack names! So, you are the pure. Yes, 
be quite pleased with yourself. But that's all you can do in that pathetic form, isn't it? You do realize that while you're stagnant, I've been growing stronger. Just how long do you think you can delay the inevitable? <laughs> Let's see how long you can last. I think we got them all. Are they really dead this time? Great job, sis. You looked awesome. Don't call me sis while you're filming. It's so unprofessional. Good thing you're cute when you're mad, too. You're ruining my whole vibe. How are you feeling? Okay, I think. Just... Tired. At least the monsters are finally gone now? Sup, Punch? Hey, Lime. Thanks for the assist. Who's a shorty? I told me you finally made a team. Oh, nah. This is Undyne. We're not a proper team. We're just kind of together. Hmm. Nice to meet you. I see. So that was your type. C can we not talk about that right now? Sure, sure. I got a guy now anyway. That's good. We should really get moving. Oh, right. That family. Family? I am so sorry for the wait. We can escort you to the center now. Please don't apologize. We saw you fight all those things. Team outrageous, right? Thank you, too. Oh, right. The little girl's a fan of yours. Oh? No worries, man. Claire. Uh, here it comes. It's water! Uh, oh, sure. it's an episode of Scary, but then he didn't be water it was a cold episode of Surprise! Oh, I, um, I really can't do that, but thank you. We'll stick around here and keep an eye on things since it's a break in the barrier. If you need us, just go YAG! I assume you know where the nearest center is? Yeah, the local hospital is definitely one. Okay, just tell us where to go and we'll lead in case of attacks. Watch your butts! Uh, will do. But, but so maybe we'll have a lot of other bodies. Claire. Can you control that? A uh, bit. But I rarely would. Can you control soda? I... Uh, probably. Some? Um, if you get tired, I can carry him for you. Thank you, but I'd rather do it myself. It feels like this is all I could do for him, even though I'm his father. Hey, you know there was nothing you could have done, right? If anything, it's our fault for not getting there sooner. Oh, no, please don't say that. If not for you, it all be... It's just... Frustrating, you know? To be so powerless. Do you think I can be magical when I'm bigger? Uh, that's... No one knows for sure why certain girls become magical girls. One of my cousins just got her powers a few weeks ago. Oh? We surprised because he thought she was still a boy. But her big sister's a magic girl, too. Claire, that's enough. You're distracting her from her work, and- So maybe her family's like, super magical! I... really don't think it runs in the family. Ah, this is it! I'll go get their attention. Yo, safety people! Yo, 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 yo! HP? What? Oh, hey, Vedica! Oh, oh no! Everyone come inside right away! So this is where she works. Oh yeah, I don't actually know anything about her powers. Please get in before the barrier's stuck open. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Now that he's safely inside, he should be just fine. <sighs> Thank goodness. It's a relief to be back inside. Now, do you know what to expect when he comes around? Yes, we've seen some of the videos. It would be best if your daughter leaves the room. Why? Isn't he just gonna wake up? Uh, that's... Maybe we could take her to the play area? Yes, that would probably be... Look, he moved to me! Alex? Alex! Here, just look at Mama. Alex! Alex! What? Please try to stay calm. It's already dissipating! It's okay. It's gonna be okay. This your first time seeing it in real life? Uh, yeah. I mean, I knew what it was going to look like in theory, but... Yeah, I've seen it a couple times, but it's always pretty rough. 
but he should be fine now that it's all out. We should probably leave it to them, actually. Uh, I suppose so. Hey, he's gonna be okay. And he wouldn't be if you hadn't been there, right? Uh, HP, thank you. But that might not be true. Huh? Uh, I told you that she was there, right? If I knew she'd be there, and she has some kind of control over monsters like that, there's no guarantee that it was a coincidence. That's... But that still wouldn't make it your fault. That'd be all on her, or it, or whatever that thing is. It'd be... I don't know if you would realize how close you came to being. You were almost... Undyne? And that only happened because you were with me. And I... I'm... Hey, you're burnt out and stressed and probably having an adrenaline crash. Let's take it easy the rest of the night and talk about this tomorrow. Hey. I just... I don't understand you. Jeez. Let's find you a better something. Gokuro? Whoa, don't rock the boat. Where are we? Hmm, no clue. You should stay up there, though. It's pretty deep if you're not tall like me. But where are we going? I don't see anything. No idea. But fear's obviously no good, so we should keep moving. Uh, does it seem like it's getting deeper? Yeah, looks like it. Uh, maybe we should turn around. But then we'll never get you out of here. Uh, but what about... Ah! I think you've shouldered enough for tonight. Rest well, Miss Wells. The hospital. Did I fall asleep? How embarrassing. Oh, it looks like she's awake. Please go on in. Oh, I'm done. Mom? I came as soon as the CDD told us what happened. Are you okay? Are you hurt? Yes, I'm okay. Wait, what time is it? Don't you need to be at work? Oh, shush. The office will understand. They all know how do you work to protect everyone. Are you feeling well? No lingering drowsiness? Oh, yeah, I think I'm alright. But what time is it? Shouldn't I be getting ready for school? It's 9am, but we already called in to Future's Promise. You've got the day off, doctor's orders. Oh, I'm so sorry for all the trouble. Oh, please, it's an honor. Everyone was talking about that boy you two saved. He should be discharged soon, too. You too? Oh. Oh, but your friend was here for hours. We had to shoo her off so she'd get some decent sleep. Who's this friend? Is it someone I know? N not really. I mean, not personally. Oh, this is gonna get really embarrassing when she finds out it's someone so popular. Hmm, well, if we're up for it, maybe we grab some breakfast on the way home? Then we can catch up a bit. Ah, uh, yeah, that should be okay. We'd like to do a quick checkup before you go, if that's okay. Oh, yeah, of course. Oh, and I brought a change of clothes, just in case. Oh, that'd be nice. Thank you. Hmm? Undyne. I'm so sorry I couldn't stay. That evil nurse lady is making me go home. I hope you don't wake up thinking anything last night was your fault still. If you're doing okay, please call me after school today. I'll be at my place just in case. There's also some other stuff we should probably talk about. You've been so open with me, and I haven't done the same for you, and I'm realizing that's bullshit. Not fair. Uh, get well soon, HP. Coco, I wonder what she's referring to. What you got there? Just a note from that friend. 
She's so sorry she couldn't stay. Hmm. You don't have to tell me about it if you don't want to. I gave her the paper to write that letter, and then I'm pretty sure I saw her draw a rude picture of me in it. Okay, now deep breath. And out. Good. Everything seems fine physically. <sighs> you most likely just overused your powers a bit. Make sure you feel 100% next time you transform before you go out. And take it easy if you need to. Uh, thank you for all your help. I'm so sorry again for the trouble. Oh, shush. If you're ready to go, I'll show you two out the back way. Why the back? There's some reporters lurking out in the lobby. We wouldn't let them wait in the hallway. Uh, yeah. I would like to avoid those if possible. Especially after last time. Okay, seriously. If you don't have a handout, come get one. You ask her. But? Um, Tessa? Can we ask you something? <sighs> hmm? Are a chemical water and Harfa Punch fighting together now? Undyne and HP. See, there was this video on the DU this morning of Team Outrageous beating up some monsters that broke the barrier, but also HP was there, and Undyne too, and we weren't sure if they're together? And we thought, you know, since Undyne's your friend, you know? Ah. Huh. I mean, I don't think they know each other. They didn't, anyway. See, I told ya. They probably just ran into each other. You guys really shouldn't take what's on the DU seriously. You would say that. You're never on it. Why would I want to be? The Daylight Update is more or less unofficial propaganda, you know? They use it to control our public perception of what we do. What? It turns our job into a facet of pop culture so it seems less serious. Undyne and HP. I always did serious. ask her to find a team. Though HP's a solo. I think they get so she many. is strong, though. So if they did team up, that's a good thing. Right? End of chapter 9. Are you nervous? A little bit, I guess. Remember, this is just to get you in their system. You don't have to decide about schools or anything yet. I know. I guess it just makes things seem a bit more real. Well, you know, I'll be proud of you no matter what. <laughs> Thanks, Mom. How did your friends take the news? They were all... supportive? I'm honestly still surprised. I always thought if one of us was going to be a magical girl, it'd be Gwen or Tessa or someone. Well, who knows? They might have the dream, too. Sometimes friends become thematic teams, you know? <sighs> that would be... nice. I think... The Hoffle Punch? Oh, baby, that's amazing! How did you hook up? Tell me all about it. We just kind of met up while on patrol. We're not a formal team or anything yet. Still, Hoffle Punch? Everyone knows her. She cuts about the deal all the time. What you like? Is she nice? Mom, you're embarrassing me. Oh, wait until your father hears about this. Mom. Oh, but she's always been a solo, right? She's not meaner than is she? No, she's actually really nice. She just has her own way of doing things. Well, that's very good to hear. I know it's not a parent's place to tell a magic girl how to fulfill her duty. And I can't imagine what it's like out there. But you're still my baby, you know? And especially after what happened. I just hope you're being as safe as possible. Mom, it must be hard for you and Dad, too. I forget that sometimes. I promise we're being careful. Ah. Morning, Kix. I hope Undyne's doing okay. Maybe I should have asked her to call me before school if she's already up. Would that have been too much? Ah. Yeah, yeah. I'll get your food. Chapter 10. Diastole. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't throw any parties while I'm gone. 
And it turns out, I'm actually super compatible with Libras. I didn't sleep at all. Uh, you know that stuff's so fake, right? Not really. It didn't even make any sense, right? Oh, there's Heartful Punch. Okay, no backing down. Um, excuse me? Wait, I don't know her name. Is it weird to refer to another magical girl by their title? That rude? Um... Miss Punch? Oh, hey. Your Undyne's friend, right? Sup, gal? Oh, that's... You remembered. I... You saved a family last night with Undyne and Team Outrageous, right? Oh, yeah. I guess that was probably on the DU already. Uh, oh, we got a call from my aunt and uncle because they needed a place to stay since their apartment was breached and they told us about how you saved them. One of my cousins just got her powers a few weeks ago. Oh, so that was your family. Uh, y yeah. So, um, th thank you. Thank you so much for saving them. Hey, it's no problem. That's the job, right? Right. Yeah, who's this? Ah, hi, I... Th th thank you again. What was that about? Good job, you scared her off. Ah, crap. I didn't even catch your name. I'm so bad about that. Sorry, Butcher. You can switch to MG Silvershag. Started going here about waking up, but that's my magic girl's out of that I know of. Zoe. Okay. Are you sure gossip isn't your real power? Even I don't know where she gets half this stuff, and we're almost always together. I could take on as an apprentice. Hard pass. Morning, everyone. Yo, feds. Uh, hey, thanks a ton for your help last night. Last night? Yeah, a kid got attacked by a monster and we took him to the hospital she volunteers at. Oh yeah, some of that was on TV. It's super cool that you help out there. Ah, thanks. It's not all I can do since my power is non-combat. It would have been better if I could heal, at least. Party foul! No pooping on your powers allowed. Fair. Perfectly cool. Right. Sorry. And at least you help people. Unlike, say, my evil RA. You were so late this time, what the fuck? I was really hoping Undyne might be with her. But I guess I don't know their actual relationship. Ah, that's... Team Outrageous. I should thank them, too. On second thought, they probably don't want to hear from me. I know the dress code here is kinda lax, but I'm still pretty sure they're breaking it. Yo, Kix. Miss me? Yeesh, nice timing. Whoa, girl, it's just the phone. Hey, um, this is HP's residence. You're going down a dangerous path, Miss AG. Is this a prank call? At this rate, you'll end up like your mother after all. What the... Kicks? Wait, could could you? Hello? Uh, hello, HP? It's Sundine. It's really you, right? Uh-huh. Uh, I really seemed that bad off last night. Uh, oh, it's not that... It's just... Are you doing okay? Uh, yeah. I honestly napped most of the day off. I don't think I could rest anymore if I wanted to. I'm really sorry about collapsing like that. It must have been really worrying for everyone. Come on, don't say that. 
hey, if you're feeling okay and you can totally say no if not. Is there any way we could meet in person? Something kind of just happened that I don't want to talk about over the phone. Uh, oh no, are you okay? Yeah, no, I- I'm fine. It's just kind of, uh... Before I entered the extension, it said Beatrice Promise Boarding House. Is that where you live by? By the school? Ah, yeah. Is it far? No, not at all. I can catch a train and be there in 20 minutes. Uh, Mom, you got a sec? Oh, hey, how'd your car go? Oh, it went okay, but um, HP really wants to meet up to talk, so I was hoping to go meet her by the school. Oh, but I was going to make Papa have a dinner. I can't wait until you're close. Uh, sorry, but she seemed really concerned. It'll be in the fridge when you get home. <laughs> Thanks, Mom. I appreciate it. Be sure to eat dinner somewhere, though. Maybe you can offer to treat her, but no fast food allowed. Mom. The HP. Sorry to keep you waiting. Hey, no problem. I really appreciate you coming on such short notice. Uh, of course. You seem pretty concerned over the phone. Ah, uh, yeah. I'd actually prefer to talk somewhere private about that. I actually have a place I like to go when I want to be alone. But we gotta transform to get there. Uh, you come up here often? Just sometimes to take naps and stuff. It's off limits, but you know, whatever. Just look at all these vegetables. I heard there was a garden up here, but... I've never actually seen it. Yeah, a lady caught me up here once and accused me of stealing stuff. Like I want any other dumb broccoli. Uh, not a fan of vegetables. I... I'm working on it. Beets are okay, and salads are easy to make. Oh, yeah. I guess you have to cook your own meals since you... Since I live on my own? It's okay. That's actually part of what I wanted to talk about. So, I got this really weird call right before yours. Your mom? What? See, my mom died shortly after I was born. But very few people know about the actual circumstances. Oh. Ah, don't make that face. It was a long time ago. Obviously. But when you say circumstances... And I'm... Have you noticed that my eyes don't match the rest of my color scheme? The eyes and the hair aren't always the same, but a completely unrelated color is unusual, right? Now that you mention it, I hadn't noticed. When I first saw you, I thought maybe we had something in common. Because you had that pink in the middle of your eyes, you know? Oh, but that's... Because of what Aether did, right? I realized that after I found out what happened. I guess that's why it only shows up when you're transformed. But then, are yours related to your mom somehow? Yeah, exactly. Pink is my color, but this blue was hers. See, the CDD doesn't like talking about what happens if someone has a kid when she's still a magical girl. I guess they have their reasons, though I don't know if I agree with them. But then, did your mother... She was 17, and yeah, I I know, but I mean, it is what it is, right? That kind of thing happens sometimes. Oh, yeah, I didn't mean... Did she pass away in labor, or...? Uh, Oh, no, she... Sorry, I guess I'm jumping around a bit. Uh, It's okay, please, 
Take your time. Well, so, when Mom gave birth to me, her power left her. And kind of went into me. Oh, but I wasn't like a super baby or anything. Uh, for the longest time, I just had these weird cyan eyes. What? Uh, does that always happen then? If the magical girl... As far as I know, it's more likely than not. I had no idea. But then, are your powers the same as your mom's? Nah, she had a spear and stuff. So my powers are my own thing, but I think they're stronger because of hers. Uh, shouldn't that be public information that it works that way? Why do they never talk about this? I think it's a few things. Obviously, it's a weird subject, and it raises questions they don't have answers for. And I think it interferes with the image people like to have of us, you know? Foundationalists aren't the only ones who want to pretend we're these perfect warriors. The idea that we're just as flawed as anyone else? I think they don't like that. Because then we don't exist just to fight and die for them. Oh, crap. I'm sorry. I really shouldn't go off on this when you just went through what you did. No, it's okay. I mean, you're not wrong. When it happened, everyone seemed shocked for a few days. But then everyone moved on, and there was that sense of, well, these things are bound to happen. I guess it's natural, but I would be lying if I said it didn't get to me. When my powers awoke, my dad was terrified. He tried to convince me not to fight. He didn't care about that being taboo or whatever, and I guess I can't blame him, honestly. But I made up my mind and we went back and forth, fighting about it for a long time. When I explained the situation to my MG counselor, they offered to move me to the dorms. No sense in letting a girl go to waste, after all. You must have been really set on fighting. Yeah, the people at the MGSI told me that I was pretty much guaranteed to get powers at some point. So I'd always kind of been waiting for it. And I wanted to do it. I wanted to protect people. Still do, I mean. And maybe I thought it'd help me understand my mom better. Can I ask what she was like from what you know? Oh man, from what I hear, she was pretty cool. Her name was Mitsuki, but as a magical girl, she was Moonlight Spear. She wasn't into the whole media thing, so I don't think a lot of people knew her. Was she a solo then? Ah, nah, she... She was actually on a thematic team with two other girls. There was Sunlight Spear, Starlight Spear, and Moonlight Spear. Uh, so they were... Team Spear, obviously. No relation to the current Team Spear. Did they all have the same weapon? That's pretty rare. N nah, Sunlight had a halberd and Mom's was more of a Naginata. Not, uh... And Starlight had a Guando. Gu uh, uh, look, they're different kinds of spears. It's not important. Uh, sorry. Anyway, they were together for a few years before Mom started seeing my dad. Even back then, magical girls would usually keep relationships on the down low. But, um, stuff happened, you know, and then I happened, you know? I am aware of the process. R right, yeah, anyway. When the government found out, they had someone come and explain the whole power thing to her. But she still decided to have me. I guess she had her own reasons. At first, everyone was surprised and all that. Wait, how many months? Like a baby baby? But apparently my grandparents were supportive and were willing to help out with baby stuff. And Dad did his best to save money from his job at the Sunbucks. And the pregnancy and everything went okay. So it seemed like things might turn out alright. Until one night when I was a few months old. And she expects us to have up to chapter 15 read by tomorrow. 
Did you finish your math, Salihis? If you ask me, homework should be optional. It's crap they expect us to come home and do it after protecting the city. You're really supposed to do it before. Wait, up there. A flare? Come on, it might be a breach. If it's civilians, they're likely already. Won't know until we get there. I'm going up ahead. Be careful. Wait, isn't this around Mitsuki's? This is Watanabe? Mitsuki? Are you in here? She didn't know it at the time, but my grandpa was also there. Under the ice. Mitsuki! Kokoro? Mitsuki! No. 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 Oh my gosh. I'm so, so sorry. I mean, obviously I don't remember any of this. I just learned about it eventually from Mingjing. Uh, or that's Starlight Spear's actual name. Oh, jeez. Sorry. No. Don't apologize. I just never would have guessed. You're so positive despite all that. I wasn't always. You should have seen me when I was 13. Yeah? I was so angsty about it. My costume had black in it. <laughs> That's definitely hard to imagine. <laughs> right? I blamed myself for a long time. If I hadn't been born, then my mom and her parents would never have... But you were just a baby. Obviously, it wasn't your fault. Yeah, but that's easier to understand intellectually than it is to really take in, you know? <sighs> right. Did they at least find the monster that did it? Ah, uh, yeah. It was actually still there in the room. But it... <laughs> Well, they took it down, in any case. Kokoro? Anyway, after that, I went to live with my dad and his parents, and the CDD did its best to hide any connection between Mom and me, which makes that call extra weird. I guess it's not impossible that someone could figure it out with the right research, or maybe they could just guess something bad happened to whoever my mom was. Sorry. Then why would that person send you such an awful call? Yeah, it's too weird. And it felt like a threat. And to be honest, that voice... It's hard to describe, but it didn't sound human. But... wait... You don't think it was her? You said you saw that shadow girl last night, right? If I had to guess, I don't think it's a coincidence. I knew it. We never should have teamed up. <laughs> now you're in danger, and she, she'll... Hey, don't even go there. You told me all about her before I chose to get involved. I didn't make that decision lightly. But still... And if that call was supposed to make me back off, then she might be an idiot. Uh. Now I want to find out why this weird-ass monster girl knows what happened to my mom. Plus, think about it. There must be a reason why she doesn't want me involved. And if she thought she could just kill me, she wouldn't be sending me spooky phone calls. But... Last night, she did almost kill you. That monster, it... almost... Yeah, that was really sloppy on my part. It never should have gotten me like that. 
but luckily you had my back. I didn't get a good look at what you did, but it sure tore that monster a new one. Uh, I've never actually done anything like that before. I honestly don't know if I could do it again. Then that sounds like it might be a job for... Training? You're too positive. It makes you impossible to argue with. The meds help. Huh? Oh, sorry. I mean, antidepressants. I've been on them for a while thanks to my therapist. I forget that it's weird for some people to talk about. Oh, no. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. I'm just realizing... You've been dealing with so much, and I had no idea. It's not that bad, really. Like I said, I went through a rough time, but I'm way better nowadays. And obviously you've been through way worse super recently. Compared to that, my stuff's just old angst. Still, you really are a strong person. I mean, we're all just... Doing what we can, you know? Would you like to go grab dinner somewhere? End of chapter 10.